All right, so in this section, we're going to be talking about the algebra of matrices. So first, we're going to define um, we're going to define the equality of matrices, and then we're going to be looking at adding, subtracting, scalar multiplication of matrices, matrix multiplication, and uh, properties of matrix multiplication. And um, I don't know. Let's just let's just get started. So the uh, the first definition we're going to go over is equality of matrices, and basically what this is saying here is. If you can picture two different matrices, we're going to call them A and B. The only way that these matrices can be equal is if they possess two different properties. The first property, they got to have the same exact dimensions. And the second property is all the corresponding entries are equal to each other. In other words, in this box that I have right here, what that's saying is all the elements of A also have to be elements of B and vice versa. All right. So here's like a little easy example right here. So we have two different matrices. They are the same dimension, so that's a good thing. So same dimensions. All right. And now, if we wanted to guarantee that these two are equal to each other, then what we would say is, well, A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals negative 3, and finally, D equals 5. And that is how you demonstrate that two matrices are equal to each other. So the next thing we're going to be talking about here would be the sum difference and scalar products of matrices. This, honestly, extremely straightforward. The key here is, is this. You want to focus on the elements. So what we're going to want to do here is look at the matrices, look at their elements, and add them accordingly. So we're going to let A equal just a bunch of elements, A, I, J, B is going to be a bunch of elements, B, I, J. And the key here is matrices got to be the same dimension. We can let C be any number we want. That's called what, that's what we call a scalar. Okay. The sum is nothing more than adding the elements. The difference is nothing more than just subtracting each one of the elements. And then the scalar product is just multiplying every single element by that scalar. Hence, you're scaling that number. So I have a bunch of examples here. So here are our matrices right here. We're going to let A equal, and I'll, I'll go row for the first one, 2, negative 3, 0, 5, 7, negative 1 half, <clears throat> B, C, and D, you can clearly see. So what we're going to do is we're going to add A plus B first. So the first thing you got to check, are the dimensions the same? So what I'm going to do real quick, I'm just going to write down the dimensions of each. Remember, it's these are all n by n, so it's row first, column second. So this is going to be a 2. I'm sorry, this is going to be a 3 by 2. We got a 3 by 2. Here we have a 2 by 3. And D is going to be a 2 by 3 as well. So for part A, I'm going to add A plus B together. So A is going to be 2, 0, 7, negative 3, 5, negative 1 half, plus B is 1, 0, negative 3, 1, 2, and 2. So when you add them together, you're going to get another matrix of the same dimension, and all you're going to do is just write out the addition of each element. So I'm just going to write all this out here, 5 plus 1, 7 plus 2, and then negative 1 half plus 2. And that's going to yield 3, negative 3, negative 3, 6, 9, and uh, what is that going to be? 3 over 2. And right there is A plus B. Now we can do C minus D as well. So let me scroll up here a little bit. So here's part B, C minus D. So this is just going to be 7, negative 3, 0, 0, 1, 5, minus 6, 0, negative 6, 8, 1, 9. And we're going to write out each one of these elements here. So we get 7 minus 6, negative 3 minus 0, 
0 minus a negative 6. And then for the second row, it's going to be 0 minus 8. 1 minus 1, and then 5 minus 9. <coughs> and that's going to give us 1, negative 3, positive 6, negative 8, 0, and then negative 4. Like I said, adding subtracting matrices very straightforward. Now we're going to do C plus A. So here's C plus A. So sorry, I got to scroll up and down a lot here. So C is 7, negative 3, 0, 0, 1, 5, plus A is going to be 2, 0, 7, negative 3, 5, and negative 1, half. And you cannot do this because we have a dimension mismatch. So in other words, you can't do this problem at all, which is great because the dimensions of the matrices do not match. Remember, they got to be equal. So they got to have those same dimensions, all right? And then finally, I forget what the last one is, 5A. Okay, so the last example here is going to be 5A. So all we're going to do here is just take the scalar multiple of 5, and then we're going to multiply this times every single element in our matrix. So 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 7 is 35. And 5 times negative 1 half is negative 5 over 2. And that is adding, subtracting, and scalar multiplication within matrices. So now the next example <coughs> that we're going to be looking at here is matrix multiplication. Now, if, we, if we're going to have any problems, it's going to be here. So we need to be really careful about this. Now, the definition is very straightforward. However, I don't think it really encompasses the actual technique. So if A equals AIJ is a... Uh, m by n matrix, and b, which is equal to a bij, which is an n by k matrix, then their product is the m by k matrix, c equals cij, where cij is what we call the inner product of the ith row of a and the jth column of b, and we write the product as c equals a times b. Now, <laughs> like I said, kind of weird at first, but here's what it's saying, all right? In order for you to multiply matrices, the first thing you have to check is that the columns of matrix A and the rows of matrix B have to be the same exact number. And if they are, not only can you multiply the matrix, but your product of these two matrices will be an M by K matrix, all right? So step one, you wanna check the columns of A and the rows of B. If they're the same dimension, then the product matrix is going to be the rows of A and the, <laughs> and the columns of B. I, like I said, I know it's confusing, um, but once you see it in action, you'll get it. And I do something that kind of helps keep everything in track. Now, this little picture I have down here at the very bottom of the screen actually kind of shows what's happening. Is you're going to take the rows of the first matrix A, and you're going to find the inner product of the columns of matrix B. And it's called the inner product. Maybe some of you may have heard it referred to as the dot product. It's the same thing, okay? So I have an example down here. So let me, let, let me scroll down here. All right, so we have A equals 1, 3, negative 1, 0. This is a 2 by 2 matrix. B is negative 1, 5, 2, 0, 4, 7. And this is a 2 by 3 matrix. We want to find A times B. Now, remember, the first thing we need to check, those two have to match. Okay, and they do. So you can put like a little, you can write the word check or whatever you want to do. That means our answer is going to be a two by three matrix. 
So what I want to do is I want to show you a little easy technique or a little tool that I used to use when I was a student learning this that really just helped keep everything in order. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to write matrix A. And then I'm going to write matrix B. All right, now, I know that when I multiply these two together, my matrix that I'm going to get as an answer is going to be a 2 by 3 matrix. That is because the rows of matrix A and the columns of matrix B tell us our product. So, real I, I don't want to say real lightly, but I'm going to label each one of those elements in my product matrix. So... This right here is going to be A11, this is going to be A12, and this will be A13. Then in my second row, this will be A21, A22, and then A23. Okay? Now, in order for me to multiply this, what I'm going to have to do first is I'm going to take, and I'm going to look at this element right here. All right? And like I said, I know this, this is a little weird at first, but I'm going to zoom in because that first one represents the row in A that I'm going to use. And this one represents the column in B that I'm going to use. Okay, so let me zoom out. I'm going to erase this. I'm just going to write A11 again. And then I'm going to highlight row one and column one. And I'm going to find the dot product of these. So how do I do that? I'm going to take one times negative one, and I'm going to add three times zero. In other words, you're going to do one times negative one plus three times zero. And that's going to be whatever that simplifies to. That's going to be your first element in your product matrix. All right. So just give me a sec, I'm going to erase some stuff. All right, now for A12, I'm going to take the first row here and the second column here. Because notice, it's, it's still the first row in matrix A. It's now the second column. So this is going to be 1 times 5 plus 3 times 4. All right, and then finally, I'm going to do matrix A, row 1, and then column 3. And that's going to give me 1 times 2 plus 3 times 7. Okay? So there, there's our first row complete. Now I'm just going to erase and get us set up for the second row now. So that's 1, 3, and this was 2, 7. All right, I'll use a different color this time. I'll use green. So notice we need row two and then column one. All right, so this is going to be negative one times negative one plus zero. Then We're going to have negative 1 times 5 plus 0 times 4. And then finally, negative 1 times 2 plus 0 times 7. So all you have to do now is just simplify every single one of those inner products. <clears throat> so we're going to get, what's this? What's A11? It's going to be negative 1 plus 3, which is 2. 5 plus 12, 17. 2 plus 21, 23. Oop, positive 1. Negative 5. <clears throat> and negative 2. So there you go right there. That is how you multiply matrices. You just need to be careful, and it really helps 
if you write out each one of these positions, and that will help you in terms of what, you know what row and what matrix or what row and what column. Remember, the first number is always going to be the row of matrix A. Then the second number will be the column of matrix B. Okay. And if you'll excuse me, I do have a, I made a mistake here. This should be negative one. I just noticed that as soon as I paused the video, I looked down and I went, ah, oh, come on. So there, I'll, that should have been negative one all the way back at the beginning. So if you are throwing things at your computer right now, you have every right to, and I'm really sorry about that little mistake. Now, the one thing that we do have got to be a careful of, all right? And you need to recall something like 3 times 4 equals 12 and 4 times 3 equals 12. This is called the commutative property of multiplication. <clears throat> and you learned that a long, long time ago. And basically what it's saying is order doesn't matter when you multiply. However, matrix multiplication is not commutative. All right? Case in point, <clears throat> what we just multiplied was a 2 by 2 times a 2 by 3, all right? If we were to swap these two matrices, in other words, if we put the 2 by 3 first, and then we put the 2 by 2 second, notice our dimensions do not match, all right? So matrix multiplication, matrix multiplication is not commutative. So I want to do one more here just to show you. So we're going to do, uh, let's do a, we'll do one, three, two. And then we're going to do hmm, three, one, negative one. There we go. Pretty simple one. <clears throat> so first thing, you need, first thing you need to do, label your dimensions. The first matrix is a one by three. Second matrix it's a three by one. Our dimensions match, therefore, our product is going to be a one by one, which is only one element, and that is great. So let's find a let's find a dot product for this. So we're gonna get one times three plus three times one plus two times negative one. That's gonna equal three plus three minus two or Four. All right. Very straightforward. Easy enough. All right. Let's try one more. All right. So here's our last example, matrix multiplication. And we're going to go through this one really quick. And then I'll just show you how to use your calculator to do this because <clears throat> let's be honest, calculators help out a lot. So first matrix is going to be a two by three. Second matrix is a three by three. We have a match which means our product matrix is going to be a two by three. So I'm gonna write the result underneath because I wanna write it nice and large. So I'm gonna write out each element first. I'll write it in red. So this is gonna be one, 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 two, one, three, then this will be a two, one, a two, two, and A23, okay? So get out my highlighter real fast. All right, so here's our first row. Here's our first column. And <clears throat> we get one times one plus zero times zero plus zero times one. 
Now we're going to do our second column. So this is going to be 1 times 1 plus 0 times 2 plus 0 times 2 again. And then finally, our third column. And this is going to be 1 times 1 plus 0 times 3 plus 0 times 1. All right. So now I'm just going to erase, clean this up real quick. So give me one second. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> now, we got our second row, first column. So this is going to be 2 times 1 plus 1 times 0 plus 3 times 1. Now our second column. This is going to be Oops, 2 times 1 plus one, 1 times 2 plus 3 times 2. And then finally, our third column is going to be 2 times 1 plus 1 times 3 plus three times one. So when you go ahead and you do all your math, okay, uh, for the first entry, we get a one. Second entry, we get a one. Third entry, we get a one. Now for the first entry in the second row, we're gonna get two plus three, which is five. Then we're gonna get two plus two, which is four, plus six, which is 10. And then finally, we're going to get 2 plus 3, which is 5, and 5 plus 3 is 8. All right. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this exact example here using our calculator. <clears throat> All right. So we go into our matrix menu. We're going to go over here to edit. And then we're going to type it in dimensions 2 by 3. And we just type in the numbers 1, 0, 0. Then for the second row, it's going to be 2, 1, 3. Okay, now once you have that typed in, you're going to go to quit and then go back to your matrix. You're going to edit again, but you're going to do matrix B this time. Matrix B is a 3 by 3. So you get 1, 1, 1, 0, 2, 3, 1, Sorry, I didn't, I didn't hit three. There we go. And then finally, for the last row, you get one, two, one. Quit. And you're just going to go back to the matrix. You're going to click on matrix A times matrix B. And when you hit enter, you get 1, 1, 1, 5, 10, 8, which is, I think, what we got, right? 1, 1, 1, 5, 10, 8. Now, the beautiful part about this, let's say you tried to reverse this. Now remember, dimensions got to match, right? Matrix multiplication is not commutative. So if you try to multiply this, it's going to tell you you have a dimension mismatch. All right, so your calculator will know if it can do it or not. All right, so you don't have to worry about getting like a wrong answer. The hardest part about using your calculator is to uh, just type it in correctly and make sure everything's correct. So that's going to be it for this first uh, first lesson this week. In the next one, we're going to learn how to find inverses of matrices and then how to solve matrix equations. And then finally, we're going to do partial fraction decomposition, which actually includes matrices. Some people don't teach it using matrices. I don't know why. I think it makes life so much easier. But anyways, more on that later. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.